It's absolutely freezing outside, and all along I thought that I was the only beast from the east. Wow. Right. I was supposed to be going to London this afternoon to meet up with a European marketing manager for a major TV brand to discuss some promotional video work for their company. But unfortunately, his flight from Europe got cancelled because of the snow, and so we had to cancel the meeting. So this afternoon, I had some time spare, so I thought I would just do a very quick video to discuss or to go through the various improvements that have been brought about by the firmware updates that has been released by LG for their 2017 OLED televisions. I think it's been a few months since I did the last one. So I think I missed at least one update in the interim. So there was the update of 04.70.30 which improve a couple of aspects at least in terms of the YouTube performance of the 2017 LG OLEDs. So initially their HDR performance in YouTube was balked in terms of the EOTF transfer. In terms of the black level performance it looked all quite washed out. But with this firmware 04.70.30 at least in the UK and Europe the YouTube is actually presenting the HDR correctly. So as you can see here, the black levels are now correct and then the specular highlights are all being presented correctly with a very, very nice depth to the whole image. So well done LG for fixing this issue. I always admire their engineers because they really do listen to feedback and act on it pretty promptly. And the second improvement from the YouTube side of things with the firmware update of 04.70.30 was that you can now actually watch 360 degree videos in YouTube. So if you go into YouTube and search for 360 videos, there will be a bunch of videos that turn up, just select any one of them. And then you can use your magic remote control using the up, down, left, right, buttons to turn around in the video itself as the video is playing to let you see various viewpoints either up, down, left or right. So that's another improvement that has been brought about by the 04.70.30 update that I missed a couple of months ago. But the latest firmware update for the 2017 LG OLED in the UK and Europe is 04.70.65 and this is an important update because what it's meant to do is to address the elevated black level issue for Dolby Vision sources through the HDMI ports. So I installed the firmware update over USB on an LG 65 inch B7 OLED television and I checked various things. And indeed, there are some improvements. For example, when I played Power Rangers and Fast and Furious through the OPPO 203 in Dolby Vision fed through HDMI to the LG 65 inch B7, I can see that, at least in Power Rangers, I can see that the elevated black level that was present before has now been suppressed. So the background, especially in the Power Rangers title scene, it now looks inky black, just like the HDR version. And there are no luminous fluctuations, at least on this Dolby Vision disc through the OPPO 203 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player. And then I also checked some content through the Apple TV 4K box. Now the Apple TV 4K box is a media streaming box that actually delivers or offers the highest number of Dolby Vision titles at this moment in time through either iTunes or through the Netflix app on the Apple TV 4K box. So I checked various stuff and indeed many of the titles that presented an elevated black level prior to this firmware update are uh, now much better. The black level are more stable and fixed. For example, in Mindhunter, just before the end credits, previously you can see a distinct shade of grey when the credits come up just before every episode, but now it is very stable and it looks inky black to me in a pitch black room without any ambient lighting. As I said, some of the titles that are problematic has been fixed, but I still saw some problems with a few titles and I'll just list them here. 
First of all is the luminous fluctuations in transformers that is still present as you can see from this snippet when there's a slight scene change from one character to another when they are meeting in the castle you can see the scene either brightening up or dimming down unnecessarily so that is still not fixed on the Dolby Vision version of Transformers The Last Night through the iTunes movies on the Apple TV 4K box next we checked various titles through the Netflix app on the Apple TV 4K box and again I'm going to actually do a side-by-side -side comparison with the internal LG Netflix app to show you that the Netflix app on the Apple TV 4K box still has some problematic titles in terms of the grayness of the black level so the first title that I used was Mute in the opening credit of Mute you can see that on the Apple TV 4K box which is going through HDMI there's a sudden rise in black level in between the opening credits whereas through the LG internal Netflix app the black level is entirely stable and inky now I stress that I'm using calibrated settings throughout and also I am watching it in a pitch black room the camera settings are the same for all these comparisons that I'm actually using with an ISO of around 6400 to really show up the black level so it may look a bit noisy but that's entirely because I need this high ISO to capture the difference in black level I saw some issues with various other titles as well for example in Bright, in Death Note, in Stranger Things Season 2 so there are various titles that are still problematic on the Netflix app through the Apple TV 4K box when fed through HDMI to the LG OLED television in terms of the lack of stability of the black level and also there's the luminance problem with the Transformers the last night still persist on the Apple TV 4K box so what does this all tell us? it's very difficult for us to pinpoint the issue now I think this update has actually improved matters a lot for Dolby Vision sources and I think as a first choice you should always try and watch Netflix content through the internal TV app because that will present the most stable and the deepest blacks possible for Dolby Vision content but if you are watching lots of stuff through the Apple TV 4K box or let's say an external 4K Blu-ray player that is Dolby Vision capable and you are still seeing some elevated black level issue I'm not entirely sure where the problem lies because Dolby is being very secretive and guards its IP or intellectual property for its proprietary Dolby Vision technology very closely so they are not actually letting us know what is the problem because it is just not open source this is their IP this is their proprietary technology but from my understanding what is happening is that the company by the company I mean Dolby they have acknowledged that there is a black level issue and then they have updated their library and all other firmware updates have to be based on this updated library that Dolby has actually provided so let's say if LG needed to work on a new firmware to solve these issues they will actually need a new library from Dolby themselves before they can work on anything and they can't actually edit anything within the library the library is closed because the whole Dolby Vision system is an ecosystem that is closed that is not actually open they are not actually allowing either TV manufacturers or device manufacturers like Oppo to actually change you know to actually edit the library so the library has to come from Dolby and then based on this library the manufacturer let's say LG or Oppo or Apple they have to formulate their own new firmware based on this new library and 
I'm not entirely sure whether there's a separate library for each manufacturer or that's just a central library and whether, let's say, if there's an updated library, if LG issue a new firmware based on this library, whether it will need, let's say, the Apple TV 4K box to issue a new firmware based on this new library before it can all work seamlessly together. I hope <laughs> this is not too confusing for you, but that is the crux of the matter now. So. If you are seeing still some titles that are not stable in terms of the black level, the black level still fluctuates or it still becomes grey, like the top and bottom letterbox bars, they are not absolutely in key black, then all you can do is to wait for, first of all, Dolby to update its library with regards to these titles, and then secondly, for the device manufacturer and the TV manufacturers to update their firmware based on these new libraries. So it's a two-step process and I think if you want to make it easier for all these companies to address these issues, I think the best way forward is to identify these problematic issues, note down the title, your settings and your specific timestamp and forward it to Dolby rather than let's say Apple, Oppo or LG because Dolby is the one who needs to actually update their library of content to address all these issues, as far as I understand anyway. Again, you know, I may be totally wrong because Dolby is certainly not letting its secrets out, but from the point of view of the LG 2017 OLEDs, the newest firmware of 04.70.65 has improved matters somewhat, but there are still some problematic titles. And I think that at the end of the day, it is up to Dolby to issue a new library to fix these issues, and then LG or let's say any other Dolby Vision capable device manufacturers, they have to actually update their own firmware based on the new library that is provided by Dolby Laboratories. And one last thing before I actually go, some of you have been asking whether the 2016 LG OLEDs will be receiving a firmware update to address the Dolby Vision elevated black level issue. The answer is yes. as the South Korean brand has communicated to various other prominent journalists. The answer is yes, the firmware update will come. But at the moment, I think the company's focus is on the 2017 and also the 2018 models. If you look through the history of this company issuing firmware updates, promised firmware updates, they have never let us down. So the B6A receiver game mode and they have promised this firmware update for the 2016 LG OLEDs and I think that they can be held to their word. But what we don't know is when it will come because I think the company is extremely busy with the launch of their new 2018 OLEDs and also with the rollout of the firmware for 2017 models, so you may have to wait a while, but just be patient. The 2016 models will receive a firmware update to fix the Dolby Vision issue, at least you know, based on whatever library is provided by Dolby. Okay, that's it from me for today. I will try and stay indoors and avoid going out because of the weather. But if you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.